Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Uh, today I'm going to bring you another wet fly. We're going to tie a March Brown. Um, just one of the standard, typical old wet fly patterns, classic wet fly pattern. Um, one I fished for years and years and years. We're going to tie it a little bit different from the standard. We're going to tie with what we got today. Okay, we're going to change some of the things to some of the things you might have laying around the shop that a little more common. Um, for, we're going to start out with a size 14 Daiichi 1560 wet fly hook. The next thing we're going to put on is a brown thread. Then for the tail, it calls for a brown partridge in the standard pattern. What we're going to use is what I like to use for a partridge substitute is Brahma hen. And this is a, a brown, it's a golden brown, dyed golden brown Brahma hen. And we're going to use this as the tail. We're going to strip some of these fibers off right there, about that much that you can see right there. And uh, just strip them back. Get them turned in your fingers here so we can point them in the right direction. We're going to tie that down for a tail. Partridge is really really nice has really nice modeling in it and I like to work with it but it can be a little bit temperamental and and real delicate I like to use the Brahma hen as a substitute for it um, it's a lot easier to work with just a nice substitute for it okay you can see there I'm the length of my tail about the width of the hook gap okay the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a piece of gold ribbing I'm going to use some uh, French oval tinsel, some gold French oval tinsel. And I'm just going to cut a little piece of that off and tie that down. This is medium, by the way. Okay, we're going to get that all tied down there. And the next thing we're going to use is fox squirrel dubbing. Um, I really like using fox squirrel dubbing. It gives it a nice spiky look. I like that real buggy look to it. And we're just going to dub that onto our thread. You can use wax if you like to use wax. I just like to wet my finger. Get it twisted on there good. Okay, now we don't want too thick of a body here, so we want to get this dubbed on. That looks pretty good there. I got a little bit extra, so we're just going to take some off. You can back a wrap, and we'll tighten this down. Get a nice clean finish to it here. Okay, now. We're going to wrap our gold ribbing on. Nice even wraps. You're going to get about four of them up through there. And then we're going to tie it off. My thread getting away from me there. I had to wind it back up a little bit. Okay, we'll cut this off. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the, the collar on it. What we're going to do is we're going to take one of our bigger, um, same thing it calls for the brown partridge feather, but we're going to substitute that with the Brahma hen. I'm going to take one of the bigger feathers and I'm going to strip back the center piece out of it. Gonna pop that out of there, and we're gonna get uh, about ten on each side, I'd say. Okay, and we're gonna make the V. We're gonna sit this V right on top of the hook. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch it down over both sides, and we're gonna pinch it into place, and we're gonna wrap it down. That's a little bit long, so I'm just gonna 
pull them shorter and wrap it down tight. Okay, now we got it where we like it. We're going to trim it off. Okay, now this is a winged wet fly. We're going to, this is a wet fly pattern. Um, fish it on the swing. I, like I said, if you watch my wet fly fishing video, I like to fish tandem flies. This is usually one of them that I like to have on. It's a good generic wet fly pattern. What I'm going to use now for the wing on this, um, it calls for the wing feathers on a pheasant. I don't have them. I have a clump of tail feathers. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back out here and I'll show you. I'm going to take the tail, the clump of tail feathers, and I'm going to get pretty deep into the sides here, okay? And like these feathers in here on the side, these shorter ones that we're looking at, how they're nice and tight and don't have nice tight ends on them, um, not the stringy ends like on, on your center fibers, okay? We're going to take these, these ones out towards the end of the tail. We're going to use this section up in here for our wing. And I want to get one from each side to do this because I want a match set of wings, okay? So you'll see, you'll see there I have a wing from, a feather from each side of the tail. As you see, these are the insides, okay? And this is the outside of the feather, so it's opposite sides. What we're going to do is I'm going to use the outside and I'm going to trim off about I'd say about 10 fibers from this side and about 10 fibers from this and I'm going to match them together to make a match set. Okay, one way you can do that is we're going to take put the two together. This way you can get them to the same length. Okay, we're just going to pinch them together, get them where we want them. Pull off here what we want, which that's a little much. Okay, we'll pull off what we want, and that's pretty good there. You can see how much I have pulled out. Pinch that together, and we're going to cut it off. Okay, now we're going to keep these pinched together like this. We're going to get them turned around in our hand so we can tie them down as a matched pair. Okay, now let me zoom back in here. Okay, now we have this matched pair of feathers. We're going to set it down on top of our fly. We're going to get what we're looking for is we want our wing to be just about right there um, not completely air, just past just past the bend of the the bend of the hook where you stopped your body and started your tail to not the whole you don't want it out dragging over your tail you know you want it a little bit shorter than that so what we're going to do is we're going to take and get it where we want it pinch it down and then I'm going to take the string and I'm going to pinch it in my fingers okay and I'm going to bring it down the other side, pinch it again, and I'm going to really pull it down nice and tight and together. Okay, when I did that, you saw those feathers all stand up. That's good. That's the way we want it. And there you can see how it did my wing on the back side. Okay, so we're going to take and we're going to cut these off. Okay, now you can take take your fingers and wet them a little bit that'll get all those strands back together okay and then we're gonna finish up our head here get it wrapped nice and tight and then we're just gonna whip finish this off and that's all it's to this version of a March Brown like I said I'm just using some material that I have laying around the shop here. That um, not what the standard pattern exactly calls for, but you find things to improvise that are very close to it, and you can come up with the exact same looking thing. And there you have it. There's my March Brown. Um, 
Easy way to do the wings there. As you saw, I pinched them down, do that soft loop, and pull it down tight. That's one of the things you want to pick out of this this video today. Uh, very good general wet fly, just a generic wet fly that will imitate a couple different species and will catch fish for you year round. Swinging on, swinging with the wet flies. Uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy my videos. If you do, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. We're constantly updating things on Facebook and uh, updating our new shop that we're about to build and about to open. And thanks again for watching. I'm Sean Holsinger from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Thank you.